Like everyone else watching anime, I obsess over the meaning of opening and ending credit scenes, looking for hidden clues, and by that, I mean to say I'm alone in this, at least if my comments are to be believed, but don't interpret my over-analysis of things to mean I don't like them. It's just something I enjoy doing, especially with shows I like. If that's gonna make you angry, maybe skip this video. Anyway, today is about one of my current favorite anime, Mashal Magic and Muscle, and how its season 2 end credits seem to mean less than nothing. Confused? Let me explain. The end credits, simply put, aren't just not informative of future or current events in the anime. They're unrelated. We just get modern snapshots of what I'm assuming is Tokyo, with a song titled Tokyo's Way playing in the background. What's that all about? The song lyrics don't even make sense to me. They're about wanting to live a surreal life, avoiding templates, pursuing an original story. It's about not letting the crowds around us dictate our path, of picking out our own way and charging full speed ahead into adulthood. It's also about cream puffs, so we can assume this song was specifically written for the show. Everything in it has to be intentional. But Mashal itself is a parody of Harry Potter. It's certainly unique, but you can't claim it's not using an existing template. And he isn't trying to stand out. He wants to be accepted. That's why he pretends to be something he's not. Magical. This ending seems so disconnected from the show, even if the anime's characters are in it. We see them modeling alongside expensive cars, driving them pushing them at highway speeds, making my initial theory that these are the actors playing the show's characters impossible, which leaves me with only one other explanation I can think of. It's a parody of end credits themselves. That's right, the scenes here make no sense because they aren't supposed to make sense. They're making fun of what they are. Hope to learn something about our characters? Too bad. Here are some superficial shots of them posing, driving, and appearing on a billboard. Think you might get clues as to the future plot? Well, the shots here aren't from our main character's world. They aren't even all animated. This one's just live action footage. I did notice not all the vehicles have right side steering wheels though, which is the standard in Japan. Not really a car guy, but I'm assuming it's because they don't make all of these foreign supercars with left side wheels. That's more attention to detail than you'd expect in an intentionally anti-meaning credit scene. A suspicious amount of attention. And why use foreign vehicles anyway? How does that represent Tokyo's way? Isn't that another contradiction? Oops. My bad. I keep saying all of this has no meaning, yet I'm still trying to draw meaning from it. I'm making as much sense as these credits, which, as we've established, is none. I knew it. Everything's nonsense. Though the song Tokyo's Way could have deeper meaning derived from the Chinese characters comprising the word Tokyo. To, meaning East, and Kyo, meaning capital. Perhaps it's really describing the way of the East, the Orient, Asian society. Unfortunately, the lyrics seem to clash with a lot of Asian traditions and cultural practices, which is problematic. All the find your own path and break away from the pack stuff sounds more Western. Maybe it's because Tokyo represents a more modern, progressive Japan, an East that looks more like the West. Not better, just different, more individually focused. I think I've found my kryptonite, Things that defy all my attempts to draw meaning from them. This will probably haunt me for decades to come. Wondering if these credits mean something by meaning nothing or mean nothing by meaning nothing. This anime might just be too smart for me. Until next time, peace.